Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is still Saturday, July the 18th, and it's 5.13 p.m. First thing I want to do is share a brief vision that our sister Aubrey got. And she says, uh, "Let me. I'll just read what she says. Okay. Uh, she says, vision of pestilence, question mark. Hey, hey, you ornery dog. You would... You wouldn't believe what this dog's doing. Hold on just a minute. <clears throat> you know that's my pillow and you can't have it. <laughs> oh, I'm back. I have to protect it. This was Buddy's. And right after I got Jasper... I would hug it, you know, I would hold on to it because it smelled like him. It's starting to not smell like him, but anyway, the first night or two, he was in his kennel beside my bed. And I knocked out of bed and it fell on the floor and he barked his head off at it. Like, what in the world just came in? <laughs> so, um... He's had this thing about my pillow ever since. And you know that's mine and you can't have it. I hug this at night. It smells <laughs> almost clean. <laughs> uh, okay, back to business. This is serious business. All right. She says... Okay, here it is in black. I'll read that one. Good morning, sis. Last night, and she, this came to me this morning. Oh, yesterday, I'm sorry, at 9.44 a.m. So, uh, she must have had this the night of Thursday. Anyway, she said, last night I had a vision for the second time of what looks like a virus, almost like a coronavirus, where it was round with spiky stuff all over it, but both times the virus was black. I was not understanding until last night. I thought, black? Why was it black? Then I said, Black plague? Or, well, not question mark. She said, Black plague. Maybe this is the next pestilence to come. I know what I saw. I'm just shocked. What do you think? Okay, I don't know what caused the black plague, but my guess would be it was not a virus. However, now that we know, whatever happened in Wuhan was man-made. We've got people saying that the virus is part of the immune system and it's not even causing illness, okay? And then, of course, we've been told for how many years now there's been the the Spanish flu caused by a virus and the polio virus and then they made a vaccine for the polio virus and every virus they've been able to find even though uh, what kind of, what was that microscope I told you in the last vi video electron microscope I wonder how long those have been around you have to have one of those to see a virus. And I remember when I went to one of the many, many doctors I went to, he said there's no point in us doing a viral culture. It takes weeks to come back, and sometimes they don't ever see them. This was like early 90s. I caught this in 1990, so... I'm not sure if this would have been in the first year or the second year. I don't know. They should have had electron microscopes by then, though. Still hard to find viruses. 
So this was a doctor. Now, I am convinced that the doctors graduating from the medical schools in America and probably elsewhere, those are run by the Jesuits as well as their other universities. Why not? Why not? They want them to, uh, they want to control everybody. They're controlling the universities and what they teach, so why not the medical schools? Why not the nursing schools? Why not teach them that there are viruses? So they can say, you've got a virus. And I was taught viruses don't cause fevers. And then as I, be, you know, got into nursing, uh, I had a real high fever and had to be off work a couple days. Um, and it seemed like I remember one of the, the nurses I talked to when I called off saying something about it being a, some kind of bacterial infection. Anyway, I'm not real sure on that. Let's just get back to this. Alright, so she's had a vision twice now about the same looking thing as the coronavirus, but now it's black. We know it's mutated already. So whatever vaccine they're working on now, is it going to help with, with if, it, if they're combining the Black Plague with the coronavirus? I remember somebody getting a message from the Lord saying, Or maybe it was their opinion. But seriously, do we not all think that the second round is going to be much worse? All right. Now, I found that this is the, the message from the Lord. Now, I'm going to preface it with this. He says in here, I'll be for my bride any, uh, very soon. But I have books I downloaded on my tablet over there by my bed from Susan Davis who received words earlier like in 2010 maybe 2009 from the Lord during her 40 day fast and she had books from where she received words earlier than that and after that and I know in my heart and my spirit that woman was hearing from the Lord and he was talking about getting ready and repenting and and that we did not have a lot of time and stuff like that. I, maybe I'll get that out and read some to you when I have nothing better to share with you. Because I'm tired of the doom and gloom. Like it's all bad and, and no light, no good, no we're going home soon stuff. You know what I mean? We need encouragement. All right. This was received on October 6th, early morning on a Sunday. Let me check my position since I moved. Okay, I guess that'll be all right. For, man, for mankind, the end is rapidly approaching. The doors will soon be closed. I am coming for my bride very soon. You see, time to the Lord is obviously not our timing. Destruction will complete my plan. Destruction will complete my plan. If you do not repent of your sins so as to be ready for my appearing, you will face the destruction I have planned for America. America will be no more. And that's in the book of Jeremiah. Pull it, Jasper. Oh, sorry. I got him a cloth bag. It's like a 
collapsible laundry bag for his toys, and I keep waiting for him to pull it over by himself. Pull it, Jasper! Pull on it! <laughs> okay, back to business. This is serious. Alright, it says, um, you have to repent of your sins so as to be ready for my appearing. You will face... Oh, You will face the destruction I have planned for America. Good job, Jasper. He did it. Too bad I didn't film it. I have planned... Okay, America will be no more. And I was telling you that that's in uh, Jeremiah chapters 50 and 51, if you want to look that up. I, the Lord, have spoken. Prepare for calamity. You are nearly out of time. The day is fast approaching. I tell you, you have been warned. And there were lots of people back then receiving messages like this. I continue to warn you, yet many of you still do not believe that destruction is coming. You want to believe I will come for you and you will see no destruction at all. This is not true. Look what we've seen over the last, how long has this been? Seven years? October 6, 2013. Almost seven years. There's been so much destruction. The sinkholes, the flooding, flooding like we hadn't seen, tornadoes, hurricanes earthquakes and they're getting more and more frequent it says you will be here a short while my bride then after a brief time in which I have given you to win souls for me by being the lights in a dark world I had not yet received the message about the two raptures how will we be the lights in a dark world the message about the two raptures says that right after the rapture there will be three days of darkness no one will have light and we will come to them then they will have light okay This is so exciting. <laughs> because when you put it all together, then it makes so much sense, doesn't it? Okay. By, okay, by being, the, you will win souls for me by being the lights in a dark world. Then I will come for you. And then many more stars will fall from the sky. But my bride will be safely in heaven with me. Search your souls, O oh beloved. See if there be any wicked thing in you. Repent of it and be ready. I will be your judge. I know all hearts. There is nothing hidden from my sight absolutely nothing I the Lord have spoken and I love you very much so very much I am the Lord thy God thou shalt not have strange gods before me do not think your favorite things to do besides be with me are not your other gods. I am a jealous God. I want all of you that you have to give. Heed these words and know that you are warned. Did you not know that the world is already in travail? The birth pains are getting closer together. You have very little time to have water stored up. You will need it. 
Now, this is strange. We got that. I got this way back then. And I had all this water stored up here. And my daughter did too. And then, like, two years later or so, her jug started leaking on her wooden floor. She had real wooden floor. We have faux wooden floors. She had to start dumping out the water and throwing away the jugs and buying new. And I don't know where she ended up storing it, but she ended up having a water. Uh, it froze for five days. They had no water and needed to use up every bit of her stored up water. So they could eat, drink, bathe, and so forth. Now, in another state, their water got poisoned, and people who stored up water then had to use their water for that. So I'm wondering if he gave this warning back then for, the, for people in different areas that ended up with water shortages for different reasons, and not just for the destruction coming. Anyway, he said... Um, you will need it. Get what you need for survival. Do it now. It is not my will that any should perish, but many of you do not want my will for you anyhow. You want to live your own lives, your own way. Well, hopefully many that have heard messages like this have changed and repented and are no longer in that situation. This says you want to be your own boss, then face destruction and eternity in hell. Well, that's not what they want, but that's what will happen. This saddens me, but this is what will happen. Won't you please try to get to know me? Please repent, 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 and be ready. My spirit testifies that this is the spoken word of God. And then I put, I wanted to add this verse for you to remember when it gets dark. Then Jesus again spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. That's John 8, 12. Okay, and I'm sure that's the end of it. Yeah. Okay, so... So maybe the saving of water, it wasn't for me. I ended up getting rid of all the jugs that went way past ex expiration. One did start leaking. Um, I did, when I have some in the fridge. Like five gallons. I used to have lots of jars that I saved and had filled with water and they lined the whole drawer, the door of the refrigerator, but they all got thrown out when I moved. And um, I meant to buy more and I haven't. I keep forgetting and I, need, I really, we all really should because we don't know what we will go through. We don't know how long we'll have to be here when the initial destruction begins before we get taken. He did say a little while. How long is a little while? Or have we been here a little while? Through the, through the, I mean, that first pandemic, I don't really consider that. It was a trial, though. It brought people out of churches. I don't know that that was a good thing or a bad thing. Probably a good thing. If 
they got into praising and worshiping and reading their word on their own, it could have been a good thing for many people. It could have got a lot of people away from God, though. And that's what they wanted, to get people away from God. And there's just been so many things that have happened in the last seven years. So many animal deaths and fish deaths, birds dropping out of the sky, all the chemtrails and all the sickness that's brought upon us. The spiritual warfare we've had to kick up so much. Don't you all think so? So, we, we've been going through it. If you are one of the first fruits rapture people, you know the devil knows it. And I'm sure he's been trying to beat you up. So let's all just remember... We're going home soon. You keep looking up. And after what might be what he's calling more stars will fall after we go home. I'm not exactly sure how to put those pieces of the puzzle together. Considering the messages I got later. About two raptures. And then later he said he'd take the bride, and some others. I figure it's the wedding party. And I don't think the wedding's right away. The guests, I think, will be the multitude too large to number. That, that's just what I'm thinking. I don't know that. Anybody got a, any thoughts on that? Feel free to put them in the comments. We're just putting up pieces of the puzzle together. It's all right to hash it out. If we're wrong, we're wrong. But at least we're talking about it, right? How it all fits together. It's something. It's just going to be so wonderful when we're all finally up at home where we belong, not on this evil planet. If you want to call it a planet. Anyway. I'm going to end it here. I played the blood of Jesus over this video. Over the internet connection. Um, myself. My computer. And over each and every one of you. And your devices. And your internet connections. And I pray... We all remember to stay in, in the Word, in prayer, in worship. Keep reading Psalm 91. No plague will enter into my dwelling. Okay? I was praying that and praying that and thinking that would cover this whole building, but it didn't. It was only my apartment. Well, independent living. We were free to come and go. They we couldn't drive each other around, but as far as I, I know, nobody got it. If they did, I didn't hear about it. Anyway, Jesus will take care of us. You just remember that. Perfect love casts out fear. Whatever we have to go through, God has us. We have our spiritual armor, Ephesians chapter 6. I hope y'all are either going through the putting it on or me, I don't take it off. Why would you take it off? I just plead the blood of Jesus over each piece and take up my shield of faith and my sword, which is the word. And having done that I will stand ready to do battle in the day of evil and I will pray in the spirit at all times with all manners of prayers and petitions and for all the saints and then I pray in the spirit and if you cannot you just keep asking say Lord how am I supposed to do that if you won't give me the gift fill me anew with your Holy Spirit 
Keep asking the Lord to fill you anew, even if you pray in the Spirit. Tell him, I want a fresh, a, a fresh and filling of the Holy Spirit. Oh, Lama Kasinamano Shara Kasada Batasi Kiyanama Ishtanamastikano Shanama Kari Siti. It happens every time I say that. I just can't help it. That's just the Holy Spirit. It just gets me on fire. So I'll say bye for now, and I will talk to you later.